Elliot Grinch. Hey, what's going on, guys? Game Boy AG here, back with another Working With Menu episode. And um, I was in the mix of making a map uh, for my patrol that I'm getting ready to do over here with the uh, at the Los Santos International Airport, the new police station. If you're not aware of the police station created by Ultrons, I have a link up below. You can take a look at the walkthrough and let me know your opinions and your thoughts. Get down in the comments, all right? So I said, let me go ahead and start recording this. So um, I'm adding, all I'm doing is pretty much adding figures or uh, entities, uh, peds, whatever you want to call it, to this map, just just for you know, immersion for the uh, role play. So I said, let me go ahead and do this for um, some people who like my um, working with menu segments. So I prefer menu. I do like map editor for some things, but I do prefer um, using menu trainer. So anyway. Uh, the first thing we have to do is, in order for the peds to be different, um, if you guys haven't uh, downloaded, I, I had made on GTA5mods.com, I had made a um, EUP, uh, pretty much an EUP uh, files, XMLL files, just specifically for menu, so, you know, you wouldn't have to use EUP menu plug the EUP EUP menu plugin and um, this way you have all the outfits and all that stuff right here in menu so we have to change up the um, character Hello there. so I'm gonna use this guy here as you can see I've already added like three pads and then the next thing you want to do is we have to make a duplicate so go ahead and duplicate this guy here and I'm gonna place him I don't even know oh, we'll put him in the locker room why not place him in the locker room like he's getting ready for his shift all right we'll give him a little animation here as well we could, you know what? I'm going to sit him on the bench, actually. So you guys can take a look at how that works. Let's see if we, let me see if there's an object I can add, add as an entity. I probably can't. Yeah, no, the bench, can't use these benches, actually. Because you want to attach him to the object. So anyway, we'll, we'll just give him, you know, cell phone use, I guess. Let him use his cell phone. Let him use his cell phone in the uh, locker room. All right, so now we'll add a we'll add a female uh, cop as well. All right. Well, easy, buddy, easy, easy. All right, so I'm gonna change him up. So we go to wardrobe and outfits. Where am I going? All right, so yeah, if you don't change the uh, pad, Ellis, if you don't change the pad, when you go to try to alter something on a particular pad, it's gonna change every pad that you made a copy. You know, it's gonna it, every pad will change into that. You know, whether it's the color of the skin, they they'll all be the same. So we don't want that. So like, I want to, I'm gonna want to change her hair. Because um, it, it will reflect. Let me show you. I'll just show you guys. I'm going to put her in there as well. But just so you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, hold on. Let me um, make a copy of her. All right. So, like, I already have her in here. And you see they have, this, they have similar hair, right? So just so you know what I'm talking about. So they have similar hair. So I just want her hair to change. But if I had to made a clone of her, the one behind the counter, when I go to change her skin tone, the, the, the duplicate's skin tone will also change to the same color. So you don't want to do that. So we go to pet options. But you'll see what I mean when I, you know. So 
I just want her to change. So we're gonna go to wardrobe, head features, and let's start with the hair color. So you see just her hair color is gonna change, which is what I want. I don't want the duplicates hair color to change. So you gotta make sure that each entity is a completely new and different entity. All right, and I'm gonna change her skin tone. Tone inherited from her father. Let's give a, you know, something, you know, some differences. I'm going to change the hair too as well. That will do down here. Yeah, we'll give her this. She looks kind of manly, right? Butchy. <laughs> oh, well, we'll keep it as is. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm just making a quick map. All right. And we could give her a little an animation as well. We'll do the um, standing impatiently, I guess. All right, so we'll put her there. All right, so you have to make sure you keep that in mind with the peds, all right? You can't just make a bunch of duplicates and clones because then, see, oh, there you go. So you see, so since she was a clone of her, her, her skin tone changed. Not the hair, but the skin tone. All right, so that was good. I'm glad that that, you know, showed uh, what I was speaking about. All right, so now we go back into, um, that's why I said you could, uh, what I would normally do is make all the individual peds and then I would just place them, but but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to do it like this. I'll do it this way. So now I'll do one where they're sitting down. I'll do a, a ped sitting down. All right, so first thing I want to do is change the peds wardrobe. All right, so I go down to my LSIA. SIA and I'm gonna add a, a female because um You're a real waste of we only because I, I'm gonna put them I'm gonna put them upstairs the with the other guy so all right and let's make a duplicate or a clone copy And I'm gonna take her upstairs. So, as you can see, I have. Where is he at? Is he up here on this floor? No, he's upstairs on the second floor, I think. All right, there he goes. So I have this guy already sitting up here. So I'm gonna place her. Okay, push the wrong button. So I'm gonna place her in this chair. So what you want to do first? is you want to make this a, a entity in the database. It has to be an entity in the database so that you can use it with menu. All right, and then the next thing you want to do is we're gonna go to attachment options, attach to something, and we're gonna, there's the prop chair, and I want to attach her to that prop chair. All right, well, you know what? Let me make, let me go back a step. Make sure that you change the um, scenario. So I'll show you what I mean. Let me. I'm gonna bring her up. Okay, because I I, I should have added the um. Okay, hold on. Let me let me see if I can change it now. I wanted to give her the uh, animation of um sitting. All right, like that. There we go. Okay, so now I should be able to All right, there we go. Now I can bring her up and I should be able to spin her around. Move her forward a bit. All right, so let me decrease this value a bit. 
and I'll bring her down and, you know, just make her look like she's placed in the chair a bit. S swing her around a little bit so she's on the chair specifically. And let's see how that looks. I guess we could bring this value down a bit. It don't have to be perfect, but I don't want her to look like she's not really sitting. And we'll move her forward some because of her gun belt. Okay, and now they're both in there. So that that's how we're going to do that. So... All right, and we'll give her a little different appearance here. Just a slight change of her uh, characteristics. Because we don't want to have all the same, you know, same looking officers. We want to make each thing a little bit different. Just some stuff differently. So... We'll do this, this, and now let's go and change her hair. Give her a different hairstyle. Different texture there. And voila, there you have it. All right, so they'll be up here in the office. All right, and you just do this with all the pets, as many pets as you want. Um, so let's see. We'll get out of there, and I'll add a, I'll add one more pet for now. Just wanted to give you guys a brief little uh, tutorial, and make sure, you, like I said, I have the link down below, but you can download my EUP. XMLL files. You know, it works for me. You know, I think you, you can probably use EUP menu, but this is how I do it. You know, I'm just doing it the way I do it. That works for me. And so we'll give this guy, we'll let him have the winter. Oh, <laughs> that's not working well. Okay, so I have to take a look at that. I may have to change that. Yeah, that, I think that was because this was from the um, older version of EUP, these XMLL files. Some of them work, some of them, uh, obviously, you got to, you know, check them out. Some of the uh, textures might have changed. So we'll give him this, this look here. And now we'll go to copy. And I will place him. Let's see. Just think of a good place to place. Oh, I guess we could place him in this office space here, right? We'll place him by the copier. Make it like he's making a copy or something, right? And we will... Let's just go ahead and um, change him up a bit first change his head right all right maybe a bit may not be able to change his head there change his hair at least let's give him that little uh elvis look right there right whoa <laughs> we don't want to do that Let's go here to the uh, skin tone and stuff. So like I said, I'm just doing things quickly. I'm not going crazy with it. This is just a tutorial. see 
Change some of the hair color there. <laughs> That's a weird hair. I I'm going to change his hair. I'm not going to do him like that. Let's go back to that haircut. I'm not going to do my man like that. He looked weird. Especially to be a cop, right? That's as high as we could go, right? Okay, let's bring it down some. So that that's good enough. There we go. All right, we'll give him a little. Let's see, if we can give him a little animation, something that makes sense over here. Uh, see what the scenarios have here. Uh, we can't do the clipboard. All right, clipboard's not working. And it's not really too much here that makes sense. So we'll just make him impatient, waiting for his copies. And that'll be that. All right, so I just wanted to do a quick tutorial, show you guys about working with menu, just to add another video here. All right, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more stuff like this, let me know. Get down in the comments below, and I'll try to make that happen for you, all right? Other than that, make sure you like, subscribe, share, tell a friend to tell another friend, and I'll keep bringing you more content, all right? Game Boy EG signed out on another one. You guys take care. Be safe. Yeah.